everyone. It's a big week. We have a lot going on this week. So part of it is just as you watch this video, you see this online, we want to make sure you know exactly what's going on with Bethel. Um, and the first thing, and it's really exciting to be a new thing, at least for, for, for us to share here, is we um, have our summer interns, which have started this week, getting geared up for all the summer ministry that's going to be going on at Bethel. And, uh, you know, as much as I want to introduce them, I also want them to introduce themselves. So here is Grace and Ryan, and we just want to make sure we welcome them and the ministry going on this summer. Um, hi, I'm Grace Hauerlach. I'm going to be the children's intern this summer, and I'm super excited to see the kids grow in their faith and help them along with their journey. Hello, my name is Ryan Lane here. I'm a 21-year-old theater student coming from Rosebud, Alberta, and I am here to be the summer youth intern at Bethel. I am so excited for the opportunity to get to know the community, get to spend some great time with the youth, and hopefully be able to share the love of God with somebody in town. So like you just heard, Grace is going to be working with children this summer. Ryan is going to be working with youth. We have some exciting plans in the works, but they're just getting geared up. So if you see them this Sunday, please make sure to welcome them. We're excited to have them as part of our ministry team. As you've probably been seeing, the past few weeks we've been really intentional sharing about two things. Bannerman Day in Action, which is this Saturday, May 28th in the morning. And then also 24-7 Prayer, which starts on Sunday. Now, Bannerman Day in Action, just go to the Discover Bethel page, Bannerman. You can still sign up or call the church. We'd love to have more people involved helping Saturday morning. It's going to be great. But I want to spend a little more time for the rest of this video just talking about 24-7 prayer because the whole week, you know, for, for us as a church, we're dedicating this time to focusing in on seeking God's face as a leading to what will be June 5th, which is Pentecost Sunday. And that's, that's where we're all involved. We're all involved in praying together, filling in all these hours that every single hour there is a person from Bethel praying. Uh, praying for the needs of our church, our community, personally for you, or the needs you know of for others. And it's an exciting thing. If you go to our 24-7 page, the link is below, you're going to see all the ways that you can, one, sign up to how to pray. And you can see the different things planned each week. You know, for example, Sunday, right after worship, we're going to have this set-aside time for families to come together and talk about praying together with their families. Kids of all ages and adults are welcome. And the other thing, too, is we have regular prayer gatherings that are always part of our week's Monday night and then also Wednesday morning. And those are available on Zoom. Um, and you can actually Wednesday morning come in person too. Uh, Wednesday night, one of the things that we're adding is that we're gonna be doing a worship night, prayer and worship night starting at 6.30. That won't be available online. That'll just be an in-person service. We'd love for you to join us for that. And all throughout the week, you can, if you sign up for a slot, you can come to the church and pray during the office hours or just choose to pray from home um, for that time. But it's all about this anticipation, building, seeking the Lord, leading to Sunday, which is Pentecost Sunday, which will be a beautiful time of worship, celebration, and I look forward to worshiping with you in that. So I just want to make sure you know what's going on and how to participate. Um, and I would challenge you too, how are you praying and seeking the Lord? Perhaps your prayer habits have gotten off a little bit. Use next week to join with us in praying and just reestablishing those habits and seeking the Lord. I think it'd be a fantastic thing and we want to do it with each other. So those are the different things that are going on this week. Um, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at the church, but you can also respond here uh, wherever you're seeing this video. And with that said, I hope you have a blessed week. 